so here in this question they have given integers p p q q and r r so they have given uh, they have assigned some values to these variables so if you check here if condition 1 is greater than 10 is this true this is false so this condition will satisfy when two conditions are true okay so here it is false therefore definitely the resultant value will be false so you will get out of the if condition so what you will print here 0 plus 2 plus 10 which is nothing but 12 so here, here your answer is 12 So here in the next pseudocode they have given p q r and you have to do the for loop for the iterations 3 to 7. So they have assigned some values here r, r is equals to 3. Now we have to perform this p is equals to what is p 7 plus 1 bitwise and p. Okay that means 8 bitwise and 7 what is 8? this what is 7 this then perform the bitwise and you will get 0 so p will be 0 okay now if if condition you have to do this 6 minus 0 minus what is r here r is 3 in this iteration 3 is greater than r is 3 3 plus what is q q is 7 so 6 minus 3 is 3 is this true false so we will end if condition again next iteration that is r is equals to 4 that is p is equals to p plus 1 what is actually p here 0 okay 0 plus 1 is 1 1 bitwise and 0 what you will get you will get again 0 so p is again 0 so if you check this condition 6 minus 0 minus what is r4 is greater than 4 plus 7 is this true false yes so you will end this if condition again next iteration that is r is equals to 5 now p is equals to what is p here 0 0 plus 1 is nothing but 1 1 bitwise and 0 so what is this 1 0 bitwise and operation you will get 0 and check out this 6 minus 0 minus what is r 5 is greater than 5 plus 7 is this true false so again you will we will not go into the if condition statements we will end this if and next iteration r is equals to 6 p here it is 0 0 plus 1 that is 1 okay here mm, p is 0 plus 1 that is 1 bitwise and 0 so here same operation again it is 0 next here if condition 6 minus 0 minus 5 is greater than 5 plus 7 is this true false again end if next iteration now r is equals to 7 what is initially p it is 0 so p is equals to 0 plus 1 is nothing but 1 bitwise and 0 again this represents the 0 value instead of doing always i am considering this because already we have did no so here p is what is p this will become resultant is 0 p is 0 okay next condition check condition 6 minus 0 minus 7 is greater than 7 plus 7 is this true this represents minus 1 so this is false now you will get out of the if condition okay so now you have to print so here you have to print p plus q what is p value here 0 0 plus what is q it is 7 now your answer will be 7 so option a is the right answer In this pseudocode, they have given the ABC variables and assigned some values. Perform the operation. C plus A plus B is 
ओके ट्वेल्व ट्वेल्व इज ग्रेटर देन बी माइनस सी फोर माइनस एट दैट इज माइनस फोर येस दिस इज ट्रू दैट मीन्स यू विल गो इन टू द इफ कंडीशन स्टेटमेंट्स नाउ हियर वॉट विल बिकम बी सी प्लस सी दैट इज एट प्लस एट सिक्सटीन सिक्सटीन प्लस जीरो दैट इज सिक्सटीन नाउ सी इज इक्वल्स टू वॉट इज सी एट एट प्लस एट सिक्सटीन सिक्सटीन प्लस जीरो इज सिक्सटीन ओके यू विल दी एंड इफ कंडीशन नाउ हियर वॉट इज सी सिक्सटीन बीट वाइज जॉर वॉट इज ए जीरो अगेन बीट वाइज जॉर वॉट इज बी इट इज सिक्सटीन इज लेस देन वॉट इज बी सिक्सटीन बीट वाइज जॉर सिक्सटीन ओके यू हैव टू परफॉर्म दिस so now here this is सिक्सटीन and this is जीरो if you perform the XOR operation you will get this nothing but सिक्सटीन now सिक्सटीन XOR सिक्सटीन so now if you perform सिक्सटीन XOR सिक्सटीन you will get जीरो so this is जीरो less than सिक्सटीन XOR सिक्सटीन is जीरो so जीरो is less than जीरो false you will you will not go into the if condition statements you will end the if condition and you have to print a plus b plus c so what is the value of a it is 0 what is the value of b it is 16 and what is the value of c it is 16 so what is the sum of these values is 32 so your answer is 32 so here in this pseudo code you have to perform all these operations so r is equals to p plus p is nothing but 2 plus 2 that is 4 now here so here what is p p plus q that is nothing but 2 plus 5 is 7 bit wise and 4 so if you do you do that bit wise and here you will get it as 4 so now r will store 4 again here q is 5 bit wise and r is 4 again if you perform 5 bit wise and 4 5 bit wise and 4 here you will get this as 4 value okay this is 4 now here this r will store 4 if you check all these conditions 4 bit wise and what is p 2 bit wise and what is q 5 Is greater than five bitwise and four. So bitwise and four represents four. Already we have performed here is greater than. You have to perform this four bitwise and two here. If you do this, you will get it as zero. Zero bitwise and five. If you perform bitwise and between zero and five, you will get it as zero. So now zero is greater than four. This is false. So you will come out of the if condition and you will print the p plus q plus r. P represents two and q represents five. And here r represents four. So the sum of two plus five plus four is eleven. So your answer is eleven here. For this question. Each c c is equals to two and c is equals to three iterations you have to perform. Now b is equals to a plus b. What is a zero and b is three. So zero plus three is three. So check the conditions. What is c? Two two bit wise and b that is three bit wise and a. What is a zero? Is less than b minus a minus c. What is b here? Three minus zero minus T C two. You have to calculate this. So if you perform the bitwise and you will get this result end as two. Now two bitwise and zero less than three minus two is one. Now perform this. So here your result end is zero, zero less than one. This is true. So you will continue to the next. Iteration. So here, so here, what is b? B is equals to a plus b. What is a? Zero. And what is b? Three. So now again, b is equals to three. You will get. Again, check the if condition. C three bit wise and three bit wise and zero is less than three minus zero minus three. 
okay now perform bitwise and between 3 and 3 you will get this as 3 3 bitwise and 0 now you will get this as 0 resultant will be 0 now 0 is less than 0 this is false so you will execute the else statement so what is b value here 3 and what is a value 0 so you will assign it into b now b value is 3 now you will end the condition and in the for loop you have completed the iterations and print a plus b so a's value is 0 and b's values is 3 so sum of this is 3 so your answer is d option d that is 3 answer Uh, in this question you have to start here these are assigned values for each r r is equals to 3 r4 r5 r6 you have to perform all these iterations q is equals to q plus p what is q q is 2 2 plus 1 is 3 so q is 3 and what is p 3 plus q that is 3 plus 3 6 now Okay, sorry here okay this is right so here we don't have any r value we are just performing the operations on q and p now here q is equals to q plus p what is q and what is p this so this is 9 now what will be p 3 plus q you have to add 3 to this that is 12 again q will become q plus p this is 21 and what is p 3 plus q that is 24 again here q is p plus q this will become 45 and what is p plus 3 that is 48 again what is q q is q plus p that represents 3 93 and what is p 96 now you have completed this for loop you have to end the for loop and calculate the r value so now r is equals to q what is q value 93 bitwise and 93 plus r what is r value here 7 so now r is equals to what you will get here now here we have to perform this whenever you perform the bitwise and between the same two numbers you will get the resultant value as that number only okay now here it is 93 so whenever you perform the x bitwise and x you will get the resultant value as x so 93 plus 7 now you will got 100 so now r is 100 after performing this operation now perform this r is equals to p plus p what is p 96 96 plus 96 is 192 now 192 bitwise and p that is 96 now here you will get if you perform these operations you will get r as 64 okay now this value become 64 now here in each iteration r is equals to 5 p value will become 5 plus 5 that is 10 here again q will be q plus p what is q here 93 we left with 93 now 93 plus 10 is 103 again here next iteration p is equals to r plus r that is 12 now q will become q plus p here you will get 115 and again here p will become 7 plus 7 14 and q will become q plus p that is nothing but 129 now you will end the for loop after completing these iterations r is equals to 5 6 7 now here we have to print the p plus q what is p here 14 and what is q here 129 what is the sum of 129 and 14 you will get 143 so your answer is 143 here so this is your answer